Greetings, Internet land. My name is Ivan Dixon. I'm coming to you live at the home office. I want to shoot this quick tutorial on how to set up your VPS with your bulk mailing system. So you can have unlimited emailing. VPS stands for Virtual Pri Private Server. That's all it is. Uh, it's a little different from the dedicated server. It's a little bit cheaper, but it does give you the ability to do unlimited emailing. And so what I want to do real quick is show you exactly what to do you should be in your cPanel now this works across any cPanel but for this tutorial I'm going with HostGator because I recommend that because of the fact that it actually gives you great inbox delivery remember you want to go with someone who has a, a good whitelist rating so when you're sending out emails you know you're gonna hit the inbox and I've had great success with HostGator I'm getting about 90 percent plus inbox so I don't have to worry about it going into spam like so many other marketers I see that's emailing bulk mailings and it's going to spam it's a waste of your energy and time so let's get started real quick on how to do that how to get your uh, VPS set up this is the cPanel go ahead and log in uh, for most of you, if you don't have a cPanel, you need to go and get your cPanel created. You should have one. Uh, with the VPS of HostGator, you do get a uh, what we call cPanel, which is your control panel. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just create a, a quick email right quick. I want to take you step by step. It's the same as hooking it up a web hosting account uh, using their system. So I'm just going to make a quick uh, email real quick. I have some down here, but I'm going to go with... Uh, let's see, contact as one of the emails, put in a password. And if I go a little too fast, everyone, just go ahead and rewind the video. But this is the first steps you want to do. After you do that, set this at unlimited. I mean, I just like the unlimited. You can leave it there, but just that. And then once you do that, go ahead and create the account. Once the account is done, it's going to say account created. It's successful. You ready to rock and roll? You see, it's right down here. Here's the new one. Now, the next step is very important, so follow along with me. You're going to go right over here to the right side where it says more. It's a drop down menu, and you're going to configure email client. Okay, click on there. Now, again, follow along with me. What I'm about to show you is very, very easy and simple. But I get so many people saying they can't follow the video. So, I'm going as slow as possible, but then in a timely manner. Now, this gray box here is very important. This is all you need to see, okay, for right now. None of this other stuff. Just focus on the gray box. Okay, now, once you are there at the gray box, there's a couple things that we need out of here. First of all, this is the email I'm going to use, okay. This is the outgoing pop address I'm going to use. So let me get the first thing I want to do is get the outgoing pop address. Now, you can do it in any order. I just do it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Now, I already have my bulk mailing system up, so let's go over here to the bulk mailer. Mine's is orange. You can color it any way you want. In the tutorials, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so real quick, I'm going to go ahead and go to SMTP server. Click on that. Again, I already have a host of emails in here, but I'm going to add this real quick so you can see how it's done. Okay. As you see, I've already started sending some emails out today. As you see, it's a live video. So anyway, let's go ahead. I have it mixed in with my VPS and some Gmail. I just like doing that. Um, real quick, let me show you real quick how it works. You're going to go ahead and add your account. Now, up here is where we're going to put the outgoing pop address. As you see, there it is. It opened up a new box here. Now, what I'm going to do is take, go back to the gray box, and I'm going to copy and paste my email, which is the username. Okay. Now, again, you can type this in. I just like copy and paste. It's just so much easier. So then I'm going to put this here. Okay. Now, you need to put this in two areas. Also, your SMTP user ID. Remember, everyone, it goes in two places. I want you to understand because sometimes people say, well, I'm messing up, and they forget that it's, they put the email in there twice. So please, make sure that you put your email in there twice. And then the password that I created back in that back office is the same one I'm going to use here. Now, as you see, it already populated to 10,000. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it 100. Now, I won't say, okay, 100,000 for today, but let's go with uh, maybe 10,000 hours. We'll leave that as is. Okay, now, most of you probably are not going to do 10,000 an hour. Um, really, it's safe to say it's um, not going to happen because you want to have a, a, a delay in between, but you can send out bulk. I mean, you have, you actually can do it. All I'm saying, if you want the really good inbox, uh, I would say don't be so quick to do 10,000 an hour. Maybe you could do 
ten thousand every two hours. I mean, it still comes out to a lot. Okay, five thousand hours to me is sufficient. But again, this is your system to do what you want to do. Okay, now from that point on, now I have a hundred thousand per day. I have ten thousand per hour. I can really put that at five thousand. I'm just going to leave it there for demonstration purposes. Okay, then what you do is you're going to check an ad. Okay, leave this at five eighty seven. You don't have to change that. Leave it at five eighty seven. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, in some cases, you can change it to 26. You can change it. And what I'm talking about, let me go back here real quick. This here, leave it at 587, but you can change it to 25. Depending on your internet provider, if it'll let you, sometimes they, they don't uh, honor 25. And I know one off the top is Verizon. They don't honor 25 unless you call in. Uh, you can go with 26. Okay. As another pop address, if your 25 don't work, but 5 every, 587 seems like it works across the board for every provider. So I mean that's what Gmail uses. So guess what? We can use 587. And I know in my earlier tutorials I was saying 25. You can use 25. Again, some people with their internet provider had problems with that, so I found out that you can use 587 and 26. Okay. Now, as you see here, I can go back to the SMT. You see now they bumped up my my actual amount I have a hundred thousand that go out uh, in a day day limit that's a 24 hour time I can do 10,000 per hour well, let's pull this over I'm sorry I didn't pull that over okay so there you go the VPS is done you're ready to rock and roll I get to send out uh, so many emails today because I have the ability to do it and that's what the VPS will do for you now if you're dealing with a web hosting account uh, it's less it's 500 per hour 12,000 a day that's why you see these numbers here so I have both here so I just wanted to show you that uh, I also have some gmails in there but again um, you know if your gmails are new gmails everyone if you're looking at this video for the first time do not try and create new gmail accounts it is a waste of time you're gonna have issues you are gonna have headaches this is for people that want to do big time marketing Okay, if you have a budget for VPS, which runs about $48 for uh, Snappy 1000, it goes up a little bit more to 80 some for Snappy 2000. This is for those those type of packages because you want to do mass email on a major level. Okay, and there are some videos that show you how to do the web hosting account, which is for people that want to do smaller mailing amounts. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to just show you that real quick. There is one other thing I want to mention about using HostGator. Remember, everyone, you cannot use a harvested list. This is only opt-in list. If you have a list of opt-ins, and really it won't double opt-ins, then you definitely want to use HostGator. If you're scraping uh, using softwares and you're not verifying your email list, then I would not recommend using HostGator because HostGator does not play. The reason why they keep a whitelist rating, everyone, is that they are absolutely very strict on using harvested leads, leads that you use with software, and you got so many people doing that. There's nothing wrong with that, but you got to make sure because when you use software, you actually have bad emails mixed in with good emails. So unless you have a very good verifying system, I would say that HostGator is really strictly used for a really clean list because I will tell you right now up front, if you go out there and try and email thousands of emails and you ain't verified that list, it's not an opt-in list, whatever may be the case, they will shut you down over time. They do not play. So I'm just giving you fair warning because I've told people over and over, you got to have a good list. You cannot be just throwing a whole bunch of emails in there and hoping that some are good and some are bad. So you can figure that out. For everyone out there that has a great list of opt-ins and all that, you're fine. But for the ones that's out there just harvesting thousands and thousands of leads, you need to definitely verify those first, okay? And if you're looking for a great verifying system, there's one below here that, you, that I would recommend. It works very well. Also, for all the ones that's watching this video and you're looking to upgrade to a VPS, there's also a link below here that you can absolutely click on there and get everything set up all in one swoop, okay? Again, it's real simple. Uh, if you if I went too fast just rewind the video and just pause it and look because what I just showed you only takes a few minutes
but I know sometimes people need to look at the video a few times to get the understanding. So again, everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching my video. Hope this helped you in setting up your uh, VPS, and I wish you continued success in all your email marketing campaigns because this is the, one of the best ways to do online marketing, okay? With that said, make it a great day, and as I always say, I'll, I'll see you on the beaches of the world.